We have seen over the last few years just how critical data has been to enabling our rapid response to COVID-19 and informing how we are able to support our communities to recover. Arming our organisations with the ability to use data and evidence to inform our decision making is really crucial and critical to aiding us to deliver much more targeted services that provide outcomes for local people and indeed help shape communities. As senior leaders, we need to harness the significant power and potential of our data to improve individual outcomes and systems. And this means being able to interpret it, to be able to ask good questions from it, to understand the types of problems that it can help us to solve and using it to help us make decisions with real confidence. So by working across organisational boundaries, sharing insights and data, applying data science methodologies such as predictive analytics, triangulating insight with the experience of our citizens and service providers, I think we have the opportunity to really generate a deeper understanding of the most challenging issues that we share. I think it helps us to get upstream of demand pressures, to embed evidence-led decision-making with across public services and in key areas. And finally, I think it helps us to support the development of good policy and practice across a range of key challenges for public services and including service integration. I think as organisations, we're very comfortable asking questions about the past, where business intelligence teams apply what we call descriptive analytics to answer questions like, well, what happened, where and when, resulting in reporting, monitoring and analysis of outcomes. However, I really think that the real value exists in thinking about more proactive questions such as what will happen next? Why did this happen and what can I do to prevent it happening again? This results in outputs like forecasting, predictive and prescriptive analytics, which can help us to get ahead of the curve, challenge our assumptions and understand emerging new insights. So by applying predictive analysis and generating insight, we can help move our thinking forward to start informing the future and intervene early, allowing us, I think, to better target resources where they're needed and support the prioritisation of activity. It helps us to forecast future demand, trends and emerging issues, including early warning systems. I think our decisions can be optimised and we can model very different scenarios. And finally, I think we can improve the experience, productivity and practice. So this data masterclass, I think, will help senior leaders put data and evidence at the heart of our organisations. We hope it will equip our leaders with the uh, skills to create and support a real data culture in our organisations and to drive confidence on how we make decisions using good quality evidence, insight and analytics. Thank you for listening and uh, I hope you get a great experience from the masterclass.